Happy Saturday. It's beginning to look a lot like fall, everyone. They're excited. They're very excited. The wind's been blowing this morning, so there are lots of limbs down. Check this one out. That's a good spider web stick. It's a really long one, but I think it's a little too long. They got the truck primed yesterday, so here's how it's looking right now. Looking good. Something came and ate the tops off of our beets, so we had a lot of good beet stuff going on here. I'm not sure that it's Miss Turkey. Titus says he thinks it's Miss Turkey. I think it's deer. We'll go get the blower. It's a pretty windy day. It's probably pointless to blow, but this is perfect fall temperature right here, y'all. Listen to those leaves blowing up there. I can never crank this blower, y'all. I mean, Jonah can crank this blower, and I cannot crank this blower. <laughs> Am I supposed to squeeze this down? What do we got here? We'll just take it up here. Tyler's in the garage. I'll get him to crank it. <laughs> He's changing something on his truck today. Will you crank this for me real quick? Oh, he's actually in there. Yeah. He is in there working on it. BLT wraps for lunch today and we're using the little black stone because hopefully we're gonna be using it before too long on a little picnic or something and we've only used it one time so we want to get some good seasoning and flavor on here it's a beautiful day out here it today. is it's sitting on top of the big black stone this is the peppercorn bacon from Aldi it's my favorite time of year everybody I love when it starts getting cooler. I tell you what, thing I'd like to get old smell of some bacon on a fall day. Mm -hmm. Remember the other day we were talking about you smoking a brisket tomorrow? How's that? How's that still going on in your mind? Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that brisket meat is uh, pretty expensive, but it's good. So while we're talking about the big green egg, let's talk about that brisket. Let's talk about it. <laughs> you don't want to make that brisket, y'all. What about a, hey, I know, what about some just pulled pork smoked on it? Brisket would be good, but brisket is a real tricky thing. I remember that one Christmas when you were like, it's going to be tradition to make a brisket every Christmas. Remember that? Christmas Day brisket. You know how many times it happened? No, you can have you can have that little green one. This one right here? Yeah. People are starting to crank up the chainsaws, getting ready for some days when we might have to put a little wood on the fireplace. Everybody's excited. When you have a fall festival and it's cool, it's always better. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry about that down wear... there in Florida. Y'all people down there in Florida, you can... we sorry. Y'all don't get to wear your coat. You can... Sorry. That's what I was fixing to say. You can wear your coats and your boots and your, you know, scarves and everything and look the part for fall and you're not sweating like crazy you know going right you can if you want to you can name that like hallmark have coffee yeah and they have nothing y'all we were they talking about nothing this. in their cups we were talking about this the other night they can at least put water 
it, you know, food colored the water black. Why not just put some coffee in it? Cold coffee. I guess they're afraid somebody's going to get burned or something. I don't know. Well, you got to take caution in this world today. People don't know how to handle a cup of hot coffee. I don't know, coffee. but it is so crazy because it's like, why? There is nothing in those cups of coffee. I mean, cups of nothing. It's obvious, <laughs> too. Cups. Whenever they're doing their yeah. video or show, they just swinging that around and then they grab it and put Nobody it Nobody does there. that. You hold that thing with care. Yeah, when it's hot, you sip that thing. Mm -hmm. You don't be taking big old swallows. The sound of chainsaws. Beautiful time of year. It's not humid at all. No, I mean, it's been that's really, perfect. Really, really great. Sorry, Florida. Again. So sorry. We so apologize. Sorry. We apologize. We've been talking about this. And even South Georgia. South Georgia's South not, Georgia not too great. Is it's too hot down there for us. Here in a few more weeks, there's gonna be some hustle and bustle. It is time to make some pumpkin pies, everybody. We already, already been starting. We, are, we already made We wanna encourage y'all to get out there and go make an abundance of pumpkin yeah, pies. I'm just here for the pie. The other day, he told me that he would love to have this chicken stew, and so today I told him that's what I was gonna make, and he keeps giving me these looks. It looks like it's gonna be really good. <laughs> like he don't know about chicken stew. It looks really good to me. We're seeing how long it's gonna take us to prepare it. Well, this. if I get a rotation, Tissery chicken, about 20 minutes. Y'all see what we're eating? What kind of stew is it? What's it called? Salsa Verde chicken stew. Verde. Have y'all ever had any of that salsa bird? It's gonna be good, I'm sure. Real day. Salsa. Verde. Salsa. Oh, I got it now. Hold on, Mom. Salsa Verde. Let it say it one more time. Let me program it down in my brain here and I'll be able to say it. Salsa Verde. No, this person says bird. Salsa bird. <laughs> there, see there, you can say it anyway. Salsa bird. When we're talking to people, I'll say, pull that word up. Salsa verde. That's some good Salsa stuff. Salsa verde. <laughs> so Salsa good. verde. Okay, stop it, baby. Salsa verde. Look at their pretty mums. They have purple ones. Purple, orange, yellow, red. The purple ones are really pretty. Manly got a strawberry lemonade. Sissy got her mocha cookie crumble. Pumpkin. Do they have muscadines? Yeah, we gotta get some more muscadines. Look how tiny those are. They look like blueberries. And rotisserie chicken. All right, everybody, we're gonna be bringing you the salsa for our chicken stew. <laughs> This is gonna be really easy, Daddy, since we already have the chicken cooked. We're, first, we're gonna just cut this rotisserie chicken. I just got your traditional Angles works rotisserie for us. chicken, yes. All we need to do is cut this chicken up, everybody. Right, and then we just mix everything in the pot. Here's a cutting board. Um, let's see, so we're gonna use black beans, two cans. I'll go ahead and be draining and rinsing the black beans, the salsa, better day. He said better, better, better day. Better day. <laughs> This is very easy, y'all. Go get you a rotisserie chicken and make this with us right now. Pause. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of olive oil, everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, this recipe specifically said skin on. That's the reason we left some of the skin. Right. I ate the rest. <laughs> <laughs> <You're good. laughs> Black beans going in. I rinsed them and drained them. Oh, let me this way. <laughs> we'll mix that together. And you're stirring this up, everyone. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna put in the salsa. Verde. <laughs> this whole jar going in. Now we're gonna put in this jar of mild salsa. It might not look like it, but this is something beautiful. It's already smelling good. Happening over here, yes. I've got it on a little bit over medium right now. When it starts simmering, we'll turn it down. Just let it simmer for a few minutes. We're almost ready. we got to put in the cilantro. Does anybody know where my scissors are? My kitchen scissors? We had to use them outside. Mm, I figured one and a half cups of frozen corn. I think the last thing we have to add in is the cilantro. And that's basically it, ain't it? Mm-hmm. 
then your toppings. Cheese, sour cream, avocado, more cilantro, lime, whatever you want to put on top. We need three-fourths of a cup going in the stew. That's a lot of cilantro, and I know a lot of y'all don't, like don't like it. Some of y'all don't like it. You don't have to put the cilantro. Yeah, you can leave this out. That's it. And it does smell really good. Really good. And we're gonna liquefy this bad boy right yeah, here. Yeah, if we we'll we'll wait and let that corn heat up and see how it is. And if we need to, we'll add a little something. He's getting that look of experiments in his eye. He found this sweet chili sauce. I think we're gonna taste this and see what it tastes like. And if it's tasting good, we'll go ahead and dump it in there. Some of it. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to add a little bit of chicken broth. We, we've added more chicken, you know, and stuff in the recipe, so of course we need to add a little extra of this and that to uh, make, make it a, work. Yeah, it's gotta have a little bit of something in it. I don't want it to be too... Uh, Chili-like. Yeah, I want it to be more soupy. That's really good. We're gonna put a little bit of this in there, y'all. About that much, I don't know how much that was. We have now changed this to sweet chili salsa verde. <laughs> Verde. Stew. Right have y'all ever had any sweet chili salsa verde? Good. It's delicious. Delicious. Mm. We forgot to do this while we go, so we're gonna do it now. We're gonna come in here and dollop. We'll put some of these little avocados in here. Mm -hmm. Let me get me one of these right here, everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm not even joking. That's really delicious. Y'all come eat. Pumpkin Bandit strikes again. Santa Claus is coming. 